I'm Pete McDermott. I'm the chair of the Positive Action for Children's Fund. Prior to assuming that role, I was at the Children's Investment Fund Foundation here in London, uh, one of the largest children's foundations in the UK. And prior to that, I spent over 20 years in UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, um, working throughout the world and on HIV, AIDS and children. Over the last 10 years, there's been remarkable progress in the elimination of mother-to-child transmission in Africa. In fact, it's probably been one of the most successful initiatives in the global HIV AIDS response. More so since 2011, when we've managed to reduce infections in children at birth by about 43%. And we've got about 60% of women now on treatment, both for the elimination of infection in their children and to keep them themselves alive. I think the key focus area for the elimination agenda going forward is to finish the job. At the moment, we've been remarkably successful, in particular over the last five years. But there's a subset of countries where progress has not been as great. We need to ensure that those countries also meet the target. Secondly, where children are, sadly, born positive, we need to ensure that they get life-saving treatment. The number of children on treatment is far below the number of adults on treatment. And the disparity between child and adult treatment is growing. We need to put children on treatment and keep them alive. I think there's the first time genuine global momentum around not only eliminating HIV AIDS infection in children, but also addressing much more systematically the treatment of children who are unfortunately infected. There's about three and a half million to date. I think also PACF, the Positive Action Children's Fund, is going to be at the forefront of addressing what is really the sort of, um, I think, new worry on HIV AIDS, which is adolescence HIV AIDS in particular amongst girls. It's been a hidden epidemic. And I think that as the Positive Action for Children's Fund, both with its own funds and more importantly, perhaps as it's beginning to partner with the US government, PEPFAR, with the Elton John Foundation, with the Elmer Foundation, with the Mac AIDS funds, it has demonstrated the ability to work so constructively with others that so much more can be achieved through collaboration. And in addition to the dedicated funds for children, it's that ability to work in partnership, especially with community groups and bringing community groups and community action to the fore, which is probably the most exciting part of the job.